us. It's a little windy out. Okay, so as you know, and we've said many times, we are going to be open and honest with you and very transparent on our lifestyle and the jobs that we do. Well, and we happen to be at the main gate, which is by far the busiest gate. There's five gates here. We're gate number one. We are the busiest gate. We have nonstop in, out, in, out, in, out. The thing is, is people say, oh, you're at a solar farm, so you're only working during the day, which is true. However, you get up at 4.30 in the morning, you're out there opening your gate at 6 a.m., and there's many times that, well, I say most times, people are not out until 7 p.m., 8 p.m., and we've had a couple 2.30 in the morning. at Endora. We have been full-time RVers since 2009. We love to share with you all of our different travels, but most importantly, how we make income so maybe you can too. Well, good afternoon. I just got back running to Walmart to pick up a few things. Um, it's kind of cooler here, humid, so I want to need another pair of pants so we're really comfortable while running the gate. So I got that. I got pizza makings, coffee, all the fun stuff but today was a rain day and luckily I'll say luckily majority of the crews didn't get to work all day so Ed has about he's in the shack still working the place yep they're both German a few packages for companies we're gonna check them out What's it everything's be? all set for up us, yes the now we can hear all right we have option one 2012 porsche panamera or a he's wow. watching youtube or tough tough job right now it's tough. yeah somebody's got to work wrapped up Look who's sitting back there, just like a little kitty cat. There's Missy underneath our laundry. Usually we hang it outside because it's not dusty here because there's a lot of grass. Um, but it was raining today and we needed to get Ed's vest washed because it was filthy. So our camera system, which is right here, the monitors, it doesn't function like we do on normal gates because we run our gate out of the shack that I just took you from. So it's not really needed. But when we are in here and we have the gate locked, everybody's gone home, we can see everything around us. So in case someone would come up to the gate, we could see out or if there's someone running around out here, who knows. But I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner and lasagna. Ed's gonna finish watching his show in the shack. Hopefully everybody's gonna be um, out here shortly and then I can do our first round. We're required to do three rounds after hours. I'll run and do our first round after everybody's out. Um, I do video record that just for security. I do not, you will not see any of the footage on any of our social media accounts or our YouTube. No, that is just for security reasons. So I record as we go around. That is just to ensure if someone says, hey, I'm missing a, which will be 
ridiculous, but I'm missing a backhoe. Well, I can go back in the footage and I can say, oh, well that backhoe was here on this day and we saw it leave through the gate. So that's just a security thing. So that those files are kept in a secure um, storage um, that doesn't get mixed up in our personal stuff. Because as you know, on this gate, and you may, mm, I don't know if I brought it up or not, not sure. But we, this is private and all their, um, the facility, everything that they're building on the solar farm here is private. I cannot put it out there publicly. So we will not do that. Yes, you will see our shack. You will see the gate going in and out, but that's it amongst, if you go farther into the facility area or the solar farm area, you will never see anything. Now, if you happen to drive by, you can see stuff, but we will not personally put that out because it is private. So, and one thing I also want to say is when I'm recording, I don't realize this, but when I am editing the video, I notice this. I say so a lot. It is a filler word that drives me crazy when I edit. So I'm, da, ha, ha. I'm trying to limit on how much I say it, and uh, we'll see. Wish me luck. Well, good morning, everyone. It is a Saturday morning. Um, yesterday we had a rain day and the um, majority of the crew left really early yesterday so it was a nice calm day yesterday. Today some of the crews are coming in today to try to make up for yesterday. Um, we have just probably 10 people in here, not very many at all, and they're doing what they can. I just had someone come in and they are checking the grounds to see if it's going to be um, doable to work tomorrow which is Sunday. Um, so yes, this um, job is 24-7, seven days a week, but on weekends are generally quieter, so it kind of gives you a break of the, the craziness of the gate. Last Sunday, we had no one come in with the exception of the cleaners for the offices, but they came last night, so we were hoping no one would be in tomorrow, Sunday. But now we're hearing that we may have full crew in tomorrow, make up for Friday. And totally understand that, but it still kind of bums us out. We are looking forward to some slow time, um, just our time. Oh well, nature of the job, isn't it? Um, if you don't like it, move on, right? <laughs> so today, um, Ed is in the RV, he's cleaning up. He made breakfast for us. He made bacon and eggs and toast, and they were delicious. He does a really good job at making breakfast, and actually he's a good cook regardless, but I hate making breakfast. Absolutely hate making breakfast. So he makes breakfast for us. Well, yes, very much appreciated that he does that. As you can tell, we have tons of boxes in here. Um, they were a late delivery yesterday and everyone had gone home. So instead of letting them sit outside and get rained on, we brought them in. Of course, we don't want anything to get ruined. But today, Ed and I, since it's Skeleton Crew, um, watching a lot of TV, going to be doing YouTube, editing videos, working on social media, kind of get caught up because during the week, we just don't have any time to do anything else but the gate. I did get a new pair of shoes yesterday. I left when it was quiet and um, I found a pair of shoes that they're not my most favorite. They don't have a whole lot of tread on them and because I, in this line of work, more tread the better. Sorry, got busy. That's crazy. But I bought another pair of shoes because my shoes that I had had a major blowout on the side. They weren't very old, but clearly they weren't very good. So I went to the closest place to buy shoes, which was Walmart. And if you've ever shopped for shoes in Walmart, you know that you're lucky to find something that fits you, let alone something halfway decent. Well, I found one pair of shoes and it does not have much tread on it. I paid $15 to give me 
through this job to get a good pair of shoes because I cannot imagine doing any walking with this shoe, but right now they feel okay. They're kind of weird, but it is what it is. And that's where we're kind of at. I can drive an hour and a half if I'd like to get to San Antonio to get better shoes, but I'm not going to drive three hours in one day for a pair of shoes. And I hate ordering them online. I don't know. Let me know. What is your luck on ordering shoes online? I'm really nervous about it because everything, the width of the shoe, the sizes are all different, the comfort, everything is so different. What do you do for shoes? Do you order them online or do you need to go to try them on as well? So today, um, Ed is cleaning up from the breakfast he made and I'm in the shack, work in the shack. And when he's done with that, he's gonna come over and we're just gonna kinda watch some TV for a little bit and then get caught up on all of our personal work. Yeah, make it a good day. And if we, we if we, bleh. And if we see something interesting that you, we feel that you would be interested in, we will show you that as well. Big old house, pretty manicured lawn, beautiful bow window. I'ma take my metal box, all decked out, and go wherever the wind blows. You can do what you will, I'ma do what I please. There's more than one road to happy, I'm gonna get there in my RV.